All righty. Nice. So we're here talking about the new product, Kill Team Star Kit, the new best deal in Kill Team. Yeah, this actually looks like probably one of the best GW starter kits that I've seen of anything. Um, at MDF Terrain is so just easy, so accessible. Um, right off the bat, thanks GW for sending a sample for us to review. Um, yeah, it's fantastic. I love it. Uh, there, the, the one thing that is a little bit of a bummer is the rules for the factions are like a pretty far departure from what we know they're actually going to be. Yeah, I think right now with the rule kit that we have, I feel like it gives me some like dark tidy vibes of the starter handbook where like the rules don't read at the quality of the current Kill Team 24 rules. But if I squint really hard and I and I smoosh the rules down to where the rules are right now, Plague Marines seem like they probably will be a pretty good team. Just the fact that they have pretty Pretty regular discussing and resilient roles means that they're just going to play way closer to 16, 18 wounds than they are going to play like any other wound count. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, like, all the the models are all push fit, which it's crazy that we haven't had a starter kit that was, like, this easy to build ever. Um, True. It's about time. It's fantastic. I, I think I built all 14 models in one sitting, like, during a movie, which was pretty easy I think, I think my favorite part is this is just a box that really is getting to what people get into warhammer 40k for like yes i know that everybody wants to say that it's all about the xenos and you know unfortunately for everybody who loves playing xenos and all the other races people are just here for space marines like 80 percent of the time people just want to play space marines you know on my store shelves space marine 2 came out and suddenly oh it looks like we're turning over all the space marine product just like super regularly and while those people might not play 40k everybody knows what a space marine is and just like having a squad of master chiefs like the idea of a super soldier has been in our collective psyches for you know what a, a hundred years at this point so just what people are here for unfortunately even though it's kind of boring but if you're if you don't like ultramarines you know you don't have to paint them as ultramarines you can paint them however you want yeah um yeah i mean they're they're great models it's all the space marine hero collection um like i said the terrain mdf you can just pop it out of the sprue and slide it together and you're good to go and like the terrain is definitely good enough that you could you could play some games you could even do like some some match play just like regular stuff on it it's pretty much just like it's like kind of like Volkis without strongholds. Yeah, it seems like perfectly playable terrain. This actually very much looks like one of the older sets that we've used in New York for terrain that was just like these wall segments. They were way thicker, I think like three quarters of an inch thick, but they looked very similar to this and they even slotted together with the same kind of that join. Yeah. So it's pretty cool that they're they're back in a really cheap, fun, efficient way. And, you know. For any little TOs, having a couple starter kits where you pull the MDF terrain out, give away the models to people who are starting, or, you know, like, the models are good enough to give to people, and then that terrain can be used to, like, amuse-bouche your old, like, Octarius terrain. Like, Octarius probably needs a couple more pieces of heavy for for visibility purposes. You're just taking this and just, like, scattering it on your Octarius boards for the new edition. Might not be that crazy. Yeah, plus it's uh, it's a great way to get into Angels of Death. I mean, like, you can get a box of Plague Marines, and that's pretty easy. But Angels of Death, now having, like, the Captain, the single Eliminator, which is kind of a problem, the single heavy Gravis dude, which is kind of a problem. But it was just like, boom, you can get them all in one spot with this starter kit. Uh, that's fantastic. Um, yeah, and it, if this just... is at the same $100 price point that the last Kill Team starter set was, then it'll be an amazing deal just for getting people into the game because it's like, you can guarantee a pair of people, like, you'll play this, it'll be fun, and that'll be good enough, and if you never want to do anything else, that's fine. It is just Space Marines in a box to fight against other Space Marines in a box, and people like that. But if you wanted to split it with a friend and, you know, commit commit them to a lifetime of violence, you know, 50 bucks each would be great. I kind of expect, you know, saying all of that, that this is probably not going to be 100 bucks. That would be my guess right now. Like, just inflation has come, and I kind of expect, like, 110, 115, 120, somewhere in that range. And it's not that crazy. Uh, but it is getting sculpts that we haven't had in a while. Like, these Plague Marines have just not been for sale, and each one of them comes with some, like, insane details on the base. Like, everyone's got a Nurgling for some reason. Yeah. Everyone does have a nurgling. Um, yeah, amazing models, like we've kept on saying. Um, the 
I'm not a new player, so I don't know what questions new players have, but um, glancing through the book, it looks like it does a pretty good job of like spoon feeding you one thing at a time, which is great. Um, and then it has QR codes that will link you to the full faction rules, which um, is also great. And it, it looks like both of the teams are going to be, I mean, Angels of Death, pretty solid, like definitely playable, not horrible at all. Uh, we assume the Plague Marines are going to be hopefully pretty good as well. Yeah, I think um, I'm pretty excited for this. Like having a an easy starter set that's easy to sell. As much as the vet guard and the commandos were a really good box, uh, not everybody wants to play. You know, a bunch of dorks, especially in that box that was not really the most fun match. Of the commandos player is just going to stomp all over the vet guard player. Once you get to the level where both players are kind of playing the game, like those the two guns that you get for having ten dudes is just never never going to work whereas this one maybe the nurgle marines just end up being a little bit too tanky to for the astartes or the angels of death to really kill consistently but it is going to feel way more fair because both players are just going to feel like they're on the same playing field yeah overall i am pretty jazzed about this it seems like the the best starter kit i've seen of any gw game yeah, I'm actually, I've been looking at them, and it might be kind of fun for me to update my Phobos guys to have an Angels of Death, Death Watch squad right next to them, so that I can just have them, because Death Watch is cool, and having them all be Death Watch would be fun, so maybe, I, maybe I'll try to get a set of them, because it should be reasonably easy to get a split of the box. Yeah. Anyways, I'm excited. Hopefully the rules for Death Guard look Good, because I will say, you know, well, let's talk about the profiles a little bit before we leave. I think I'd be remiss if we didn't at least go into some of the details for yeah. for the rules, because it yeah. is Cause it we, is fun stuff. And we've got like the uh, I've got it right down here. Um, we've got a glance at the, the like the starter kit version of the rules, which we know is like different than what the full rules are, because like the yeah. the starter kit angels of death would... still have like sergeant hits on twos, like your plasma pistols five six and like all that. Yeah, when I was stuff. talking about having to squint and smush the rules around, the plague marine champion, the leader, he's got a he's got like an old edition plasma pistol. You know, currently plasma pistols four tax hitting on threes, three five range eight piercing one, and then when you go hot four tax on threes, uh, four five lethal five piercing one hot. That's what generally is happening. But this one, he's got. 4-6 damage as the regular profile, and then he flips to hot, goes to 5-6 damage with hot and severe, so he's always getting a crit. So it's just, like, rules that don't quite make sense in the current edition. <clears throat> I wonder if the Plague Champion, if his full rules are going to be hot and severe. Like, the damage profile will probably match the other Plasma Pistols, I assume. Unless he does just have an old-school Plasma Pistol, but... Just, yeah, it's like, it's, it's, it could be, be one surprised. of those things where, like... As a Death Guard, like in lore, they are one of the the heretics from the year thirty thousand. So having them have old tech that is more powerful could actually be a very fun way to do a little callback to the old edition of Kill Team. But it just feels a little bit weird in the starter rules. So it, that's kind of weird. the The Psyker has an insane profile. So the Plague Caster, his entropy rule just says destroy target seven wound model because it's four attacks on threes. 3-7, range 7, because Nurgle's number is 7, and that's great. Saturate, and severe. So, you target a dude with 7 wounds, and probably a fair number of times, they gotta roll 3 natural 5-up saves. And if they don't make 2 of them, they just die. Yeah. Um, and then, but you can, you can double shoot, and his other one is unlimited range. Uh, it's like a 6-attack <laughs> las gun that is saturate, severe, and torrent. But it has six attacks on threes, so it's like, that's pretty good. Yeah. To be fair, this is a team that has a five-inch move, so getting within range seven might not be the easiest. Uh, 14 wounds with uh, the disgusting resilient of getting to roll on a five-up chance for any damage past two is pretty good. You know, so you are the floor, the, the lowest damage you can take is two, and the highest is whatever, minus one. So they are going to play... Pretty tanky, you know. There's some other weird stuff like the Plague Marine Bombardier can just chuck an infinite number of crack grenades, which none of the other grenades can do because you generally have the Astartes rule, which is giving you the second uh, attack a turn and you generally need a bolt weapon in there. So right now the Plague Marine Bombardier can chuck infinite numbers of crack grenades and those crack grenades are, you know, still hitting on threes. 
four or five, pierce one, saturate, so. Yeah, and it's like infinite number, and he can double shoot with crack grenades both times. The thing that I think yeah. that is hilarious about it is that he has a blight grenade, which is like a, a saturate severe frag grenade. It's pretty much a frag grenade, but that's severe, really. Um, and that one is limited. You can only throw one frag grenade, but you have unlimited crack grenades. A little silly. Very silly. Um, I do like that we're getting like specific rules that feel a little bit, you know, plaguey. So the heavy gunner has got the plague spear, five attacks on twos, three three range eight, saturate severe torrent two. So it looks like the way they're they're coming at the disease angle is your first cough is guaranteed. So severe just means that you're always getting a hard to hit, uh, a hard to block attack, which your opponent is. You know, that's the the first cough, the first COVID when the plague marines hit you. And uh, the Plague Marine Fighter has a Flail of Corruption. Five attacks on three, four, five. Brutal, severe, shock. That's quite a potent combo there. Yeah, so you're, like, never going to be able to block him. He's always going to knock off one of your attacks. And he's got 14 wounds with the Disgusting Resilient behind him. So I do kind of expect that this box is going to have the Plague Marines be slightly better in the box matchup. <laughs> Yeah, and then I'm like, honestly, I hope you can take multiple Plague Marine fighters and uh, honestly just, like, bundle all of the, the melee weapons into the same thing because, like, the Plague Marine kit, like, the, the classic one that isn't, like, the Space Marine heroes, you can get, like, a giant Plague Cleaver thing and I'm like, that seems like it'd be fine with the same profile. Um, you can have the flails, you can have dudes with double knives, you can do to have, have a guy that has an, uh, an, a smaller axe and a mace. And there's like, there's like yeah, all these it'll be combos. it'll be interesting to see what the full rules release for this box is because the inbox kit is the Space Marine Heroes I think Generation Two, which was a Japanese only release for a long time, so it was hard to get these models. So it's nice that we're getting like basically a worldwide release for these models. And I think when we first talked about the box getting delivered, everything is on their Space Marine Heroes sprue, basically, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So every single yeah, even across the board, like so everything is like an individual thing on its own sprue. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, and the models are great. These are like wonderful, wonderful models. There's so much character on every Plague Marine. There's Nurglings on every base. There's Tentacle. There's Goop. There's like weird, chaosy bits, stupid fungus dripping off. So like, these are gonna be. This is gonna be a great kit, and I'm really excited that everyone's gonna have access to it. I'm just really curious what the rules are gonna be. So, join us next time when those come out, whenever they come out. Yeah, when we do have the full rules, I'm sure you know we'll be talking about. It. Everyone's gonna be talking about it. But Death Guard's gonna be a super popular team. Yeah, for sure. If this is if I I squint really hard and this is loosely what they're gonna look like, and they're gonna have the Stardies, they're gonna have some more specialists for some of the weapons in the actual box rather than the heroes. Yeah, this team's gonna be crazy. Yeah, um, Angel of Death in there as well. There, I mean, we've we've all seen and chatted about those rules. Uh, the in the box version is, you know, it does show us that it's a little, it's different. Like the sergeant in the tutorial still hits on twos. Um, the captain has the same plasma pistol as the plague champion, where it's four six and then uh, becomes five six when you supercharge it. But I think it's lethal five instead, but more like a normal plasma pistol. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm yeah, that is the starter kit. Looks like a great set. Sweet. Well, I think that is it for today, y'all. See you next time. All right, we'll see you guys around soon.